Hello, this is Bill Bullard with RCAF USA, the voice of the independent cattle producer in the United States of America. Well, for this segment, I'd like to tell you the story behind the story, and both of which are true. The first story starts in the middle of March of 2019, where I was in Washington, D.C., and while there, I had an appointment to meet with a reporter from the Washington Post. His name was David Lynch. David Lynch wanted to interview me about the tariff policies that our president has been implementing, and he wanted to know specifically how those tariff policies would impact independent U.S. cattle producers. But our discussion quickly turned to country of origin labeling, and I explained to David Lynch how vitally important it was for independent U.S. cattle producers to be able to distinguish their superior product in the domestic marketplace in order to compete with the growing tide of imports coming into this country. And so after the discussion, David said he would go back to his editors to see if they would assign to him to a story about country of origin labeling. So upon my return from Washington, D.C., I received a message from David asking if I could find a couple of ranchers up in the northwestern part of the United States that he could visit with so he could put a face to his article about country of origin labeling. And so I contact two of our good members up in northern Washington, Ted and George Wishon, father and son. Together they run about 750 cows. And they do so first up in the northern part of Spokane, which is heavily timbered with a lot of wolves and grizzly bears and snow. And so they summer up in that area. And then in the wintertime, they bring their cattle south down into the southern part of Washington along the northern banks of the Columbia River, and they winter their cattle on the cornfields there. And so that's where Ted and George were at the time that David Lynch went out to meet with them in early April, and they were able to spend a morning together. And David talked to them about the importance of country of origin labeling to the long-term profitability of their industry. And they explained how during the time that they had country of origin labeling after the 2008 Farm Bill and after the law had been improved in 2013 to where we were really providing consumers a choice between imported product versus domestic product, the Washans explained that they had higher prices at the time. And then after the repeal of country of origin labeling by Congress, cattle prices collapsed and as a result, the Wishans are concerned about their long-term future. And so the discussion also was directed towards the new U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement. And the Wishans explained that we were hopeful that the new Congress and that the president would incorporate country of origin labeling within that new NAFTA agreement. But that didn't happen. And so the reporter really dug deep to determine the history behind country of origin labeling and who the players are. One of the players that they interviewed was Senator Pat Roberts from Kansas, which is an ardent opponent to country of origin labeling. In fact, he said in his article that Pat Roberts told him that that was a road they didn't know need to go down again. And then they interviewed someone out of the Commerce Department during the Bill Clinton administration who likewise is seriously opposed to country of origin labeling. Kind of interesting because he said that the country of origin labeling issue was the zombie issue because he said these people never quit. And I think that's a real tribute to the U.S. cattle industry and to U.S. cattle producers and to all of those who experience hardships in their day-to-day -day lives and in their operations and in their caring for their livestock because we never quit. And that's why we will win country of origin labeling and why on May 3rd this year, the Washington Post had on the front page of its business section a very in-depth story about the Washans and their efforts to restore country of origin labeling as members of our CAF USA. I hope you get a chance to read that because it's an outstanding article. And so we will continue to fight until we restore country of origin labeling for beef, so every U.S. cattle producer will have the ability to compete against the growing tide of these cheaper, undifferentiated imports that the meat packers keep bringing into the United States in order to leverage down domestic cattle prices. With that, we're out of time. We hope you have a productive week. Thank you and goodbye.